Hi, I'm Mr. Simons and I want to give you a really quick video about the difference between fiscal and monetary policy at a very basic level. I get a lot of questions sometimes about, well, what's the difference between fiscal and monetary or even worse, I get students making that mistake when they're answering questions in exams and that makes me very sad. So what I want to do is just quickly set it up go through the basics, maybe take another 90 seconds of your time if this all goes well. Two hours later. And so you'll have a better understanding about being so clear on fiscal and monetary. So when we talk about fiscal policy, the easiest way to think about it is fiscal policy is just budget policy. The fiscal policy is all about the use of the federal budget to achieve economic objectives. So it's the federal government um, using its budget. And when we talk about the budget, and when we talk about the budget, the budget really is looking at the amount of government spending and taxation revenue and the relationship between those two things, right? So in terms of the budget, you know, is the government planning to spend more than taxation revenue? Is it planning to earn more than it spends or is it planning to have them equal and all of these situations will create different economic consequences okay but here we are fiscal policy the use of the federal budget to achieve those economic objectives so one more thing here the tool of fiscal policy is the federal budget. The way that fiscal policy is implemented is through the use of the federal budget. Okay, we're running out of time because I made a promise to you. So let's switch over to monetary policy. So monetary policy is still technically government policy, right? If a question asks you about government policies, just be clear that at least in the New South Wales HSE context, you definitely should talk about monetary policy because it is still government policy, but in Australia, it is implemented by the Reserve Bank of Australia on the federal government's behalf. So it's independent of government, but it's still government policy, but it's implemented by the RBA. All right, hopefully that's not too confusing. So monetary policy involves adjusting the cash rate, right? Moving the cash rate up and down and involves not just anyone, involves the RBA adjusting the cash rate to affect the general level of interest rates. That's what I mean by IR, the interest rates, uh, general level of interest rates, let's be clear, in the economy and therefore affect the level of economic activity. So the RBA changes the cash rate, the banks change the general level of interest rates and the general level of economic activity changes as a result. Uh, one more thing just to match it up over here. The tool of monetary policy, remember the tool of fiscal is the federal budget. The tool of monetary policy is domestic market operations. You could also refer to open market operations and that's the physical process of how the RBA seeks to adjust the cash rate to then affect the level of economic activity. Okay. So this was a really quick look at the differences between fiscal and monetary policy. Hopefully this is, is clear, crystal clear in your mind. Any questions, uh, put in the comments and um, thank you for watching.